morning, I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and today and Chandler are still here, and <laughs> Chandler didn't want to, be, oh, promise rain, you won't let me do that to you, but you did it, Chandler. <laughs> so, we are making chicken pot pie. That is their, one of their favorites, and I try to make it as healthy as I can. So, uh, I do use some canned things, but I try to use some fresh, too. Uh, I'm putting a half a stick of butter in a little bit of water right here because I'm going to uh, cook my, I've got about, I'm going to cook my some of my vegetables. I've got about probably a cup of little diced up carrots. I've got a, about a cup of onions here. And this is two potatoes uh, that I cut and diced up. So I'm going to put them. I'm just going to get them tender. I like to make my own veggies to go in my chicken pot pie because I try to, little as, to use as little processed uh, things as I can. And But now like my English peas and my green beans, they're canned. So uh, that's just, I'm just having to use them today. So I'm going to put uh, some pepper and salt, probably, I don't know, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper. And I've got uh, probably a half an inch of water in here because I don't want to boil them, but I am going to just kind of uh, saute them a little bit, and I needed that water to get them tender. And in that, I'm putting like a fourth teaspoon of onion powder and maybe a uh, half teaspoon of garlic powder. So, uh, I have got English peas right here. They're the little small English peas. I've got some whole kernel corn, and I've got some green beans. They're just canned green beans, and I chopped them up a little bit. And over here, I have got my... No, I'm gluten-free, so I don't use canned cream of chicken soup. Well, I had some really, really rich, good broth, chicken broth, in the freezer that already has some little chicken giblets in it. So I put some uh, cornstarch in that. I put it in the microwave and I got it thick. And to give it a little bit more creaminess, I'm gonna add a little bit of mayo to it. So, and that's gonna be my, uh, my cream of chicken, my homemade cream of chicken soup. So, and then I'm gonna make a gluten-free crust, of course, with my gluten-free, with my almond flour, uh, a little bit of coconut flour, eggs, and cream cheese. Uh, and I boiled my chicken this morning in my Quasinart little instant pot right there. So it's going to take these veggies a little bit to come up the temp. So when the potatoes and the carrots get done, then I'm going to pour, I'm going to get all the water, let all the water cook out because I don't want any water in my veggies. And then I'm going to put my corn my English peas, my green beans in there, stir it all up, and then we're coming over here, and we're going to put it all together, slide it in the oven, and hopefully by 12.45, we're going to be eating, because these kids have been out building a fort, and they are hungry, so <laughs> we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I added my English peas, my corn, and my green beans after my onions, carrots, and potatoes got done. Okay. And I cooked them just long enough to kind of get them incorporated in. And I, I tasted of it. And I did add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and a little bit more garlic into it. Uh, now, tell you what I'm going to do. This is a lot. Woo, it's hot. I'm going to take some of this out. All right. Until I see how much the cream of chicken soup, how much uh, it may not be enough for all these vegetables. Now, the way I made this cream of chicken soup, I had broth and the chicken broth that had a lot of uh, like chicken giblets in it. I had about probably a cup, a cup and a half in the freezer. I took that out. I added some cornstarch to it, and I put it in my microwave, 
and I thickened it till it's it's dark. It's not, and I put two teaspoons of chicken base in it, so it would give it more of a chicken flavor. So, oh, that's gonna be perfect. And I may add my other veggies back in because those children outside they love chicken pot pie. So. Uh, I made some pasta yesterday. Chandler came in this morning. He said, oh, Grandma, you got any more of that pasta? I want that for breakfast. So now to make this just a little bit creamier, I'm going to add like two tablespoons of mayo to this. Now, if I was using regular cream of chicken soup, I probably would not do this. But the mayo just gives it a little extra flavor to me. And it makes it a little bit creamier. So, oh my, this looks good. Okay, I've already got my oven set for 350. And, okay, I think I'm going to add these extra vegetables in because it's plenty creamy. I was just worried about it not being creamy enough. All right. This is going to be a big chicken pot pie. Now, this is my chicken that I cooked in my Instapot this morning. And I just put a whole chicken in there. And I cooked it for like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 35 minutes because I had taken it out of the freezer and it was partly frozen. So, I cooked it 35 minutes. Usually, a, and it was a big chicken. I still got a bunch over there I hadn't that I'm not going to use in this. But uh, it was like a six-pound chicken. And now, keep in mind, Rose puts more meat than anybody else in the world <laughs> in anything. I want you to look at the meat. It's just going to, when I get over here now, it's almost all meat with a few vegetables thrown in. Hey, That's what it is. When I'm feeding my grandkids, I want them to have plenty of protein. Rose. <laughs> Rose. That is meat heavy if I but have ever seen it. this is a meat dish, honey. I mean, wow. yes. Now, you don't have to put this much if you don't want to. <laughs> Roy loves to criticize when, <laughs> when I do something like he wouldn't do it. <laughs> well, it, it, chicken is up to $14 a pound. I'm Ooh. trying to save a little money. Mm, I know. Okay. Now. I'm going to put it in my casserole dish. And I don't know what size this casserole dish is, but it's a big one. So, I'm just going to... Ooh, doesn't that look good? For you out there that are gluten-free, if you've never made your own cream of chicken soup, it's really, really good. And the reason you have to do that is because... Uh, there is wheat in cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of celery, any kind of cream soup, there's wheat in it. So, now everything in here is done. Oh my, mmm, mmm. That is so good. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. My sink is getting really full of dishes. Now, I'm going to make a put a gluten-free crust on this. I'm going to put this in the microwave for like uh, on soft melt. It'll take it like 30 seconds, but it's on soft melt, so it's not real. It's not real uh, high power. Okay. I've got three eggs. I've got three quarters of a cup of almond flour and about three, two to three tablespoons of coconut flour. And I've got two teaspoons of uh, baking powder in here. That's going to be the crust for my chicken pot pie. Now, this is, this cream cheese has been out all morning. So it was already kind of soft. I just like to soften it really, really good. Now, this is six ounces of cream cheese. I'm doubling what I usually do, like for waffles or pancakes or something. Okay, three eggs. And if y'all have watched my waffle video or 
my pancake video. I put uh, vanilla flavoring and stevia in it, but I do not when I'm making it, when I'm making biscuit or when I'm making it for a crust. And this is a keto crust. And this is a keto crust. It only has four ingredients. Cream cheese, eggs, your flours, which is almond and coconut, and your baking powder. That's all this has. Okay, and I'm going to whip it real good. And make sure that your eggs are room temperature. I had put these in some hot water to get them up to, uh, to room temperature. Because if you don't, and you've heard me say this before, if you don't, and you put cold eggs in this uh, cream cheese. Hot cream cheese. Or warm, softened mm -hmm. cream cheese. Mm -hmm. It's going <clears> to <throat> make that cream cheese cold. And you're going to have little knots all in your mm -hmm. uh, batter. And you do not want that. Okay. Now I'm going to put my almond flour and my coconut flour. And this makes a wonderful crust. It really does. I love it. I don't want to put another egg. <clears throat> I want this a little bit thinner. So I'm going to add a little bit of milk to it just because I want it a little bit thinner. To, so I can pour it over my pot pie. I told Promise, I said, Promise, honey, I said, I'll make two. I'll make me one, a small, just a little small one with a gluten-free crust, and I'll just make y'all regular crust. But her mom is gluten-free and also, so Promise tries to eat as healthy as she can. She said, no, Grandma. She said, I want it. She said, I want to make it like, I want to eat it like you make it, like you eat yours, so. And it's really good. That was probably a half a cup of milk that I added to it just to make it where I can pour it good. Okay. And I'm just going to pour. And you can see it's kind of like pancake batter. Ooh. And those little specks you see in it is the almond flour. This particular almond flour that I'm using now is, uh, I guess it has some of the husk in it. Yeah, it is. It's, because, it's just a little more husk than you normally used to. Yeah, it's real, uh, looking for my spatula. It's, uh, it's darker, browner than what my regular almond flour that I use is. Jenny, my daughter, gave me this because she wasn't... Uh, she wasn't going to use it, and so she gave it to me. Okay, that is our crust. I'm about to put it. <laughs> no, you don't have to cover your face, baby. I'm about to put it in a 350 degree oven, and everything in here is hot. It's done, so uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna let it cook about 25 minutes. Usually, after 20 minutes, this crust is golden brown and good. But to make sure everything gets really bubbly inside, I'm gonna cook it for like uh, I'm gonna cook it for like 25 minutes. So we'll be back. There it goes. Do you want me to grandma? We'll let Granddaddy do it. You ready? Mm hmm okay, You're on. Okay. Bum bum bum. I want y'all to look at this. Here it comes. Look at that. Oh, Grandma. Oh, my goodness. Can you get it where well, it's bubbling right there, baby? Woo! It's been in 22 minutes. Don't you want a taste of it? We are going to taste of it. No, I mean, grab you some right now. Oh, man. no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 but I do want to get a picture. So, uh, I need to get a picture. Okay, a picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So just cut it off. 